All right, let's try a few more examples where we have to work with the difference of squares. Now, understand that on your test, it's all going to be mixed up. So you have to be able to determine what's the difference of squares and what's the kind of setup where you're squaring a binomial. <coughs> We're not going to freak out about this. Are these guys conjugates? Yeah. Are these the same? Yeah. And these are the same except for the signs? Yeah. Okay, so make it happen, Captain. 81x to the 30th. 81x to the 30th. So you square the 9 to get 81. When you square x to the 15th, you're just going to double that and you get 30. Because exponents work a little bit differently. Minus what? Four y to the twenty-second. Done. So you add the exponents, not multiply. When you well look, when you multiply these guys right here, what's x to the fifteenth times x to the fifteenth? How many factors of x would be there? Thirty factors of x would be in that product. One tenth. X to oh stop it, x to the thirteenth, y to the fourth minus four sevenths. <gasps> Man, if you guys don't like fractions, don't ever come to my parties. Oh yeah, you're not gonna have So I guess if you guys ever have coffee, you never put it in half and half. I hate fractions, Mr. Craig. Never. <laughs> put it in Bailey's. Put it. <laughs> put in Bailey's Irish cream, right? Yeah. All right. Now, are these guys conjugates? Yes. Ah, so we're not going to freak out. No fraction freakouts, right? So I got to square this guy. How do I square one tenth? Uh, two. One tenth. Two. Two. two? two? One tenth. What's one squared? One. one. What's ten squared? 100. What about those variables? X to the what? 26. 26 and Y to the minus. I've got to square 4 over 7. Uh, 16 over 49. 16 over 49. Huh? I'm squaring 4 and I'm squaring 7. Now you would not want to FOIL this out. We don't need to because we have to use a special product. Now we got one more here. Just one more. 8 a to the 5th b minus 7 x squared y to the 3rd times 8 a to the 5th b plus 7 x squared y to the 3rd. Are these conjugates? then multiplying is easy because we know the middle terms cancel. So when I square that first term, what do I get? 64 a to the 10th b, to the b squared finish cancel out, right? 49. Minus, 49. minus 49 x to the 4th y to the 9 x to the 4th y to the 36 Sixth, right? Because how many factors of y would be in that product? Six. six. Three and three is six.